Welcome back to How to Souls. My name is Rach and today we're going to look at how you can go fight the Great Grey Wolf Sif without purchasing the Crest of Artorias to get through this door here. So if you're looking to unlock the Dark Wraith Covenant and you're wanting to fight the Four Kings early, you'll need to first defeat Great Grey Wolf Sif, right? But maybe you don't have a spare 20,000 souls lying around, or you're leveling up Pyromancy or something and you just don't want to spend them on it. You might want to choose instead to enter Sif's boss arena from Darkroot Basin. So heading down into the basin, of course I'll always recommend trying to get this Crystal Lizard if you can. Okay, we got him. So we can take our time and proceed downwards. There's no real threats unless you're wanting to rest at the bonfire beside the Halberd Black Knight, who is down there. We're instead going to travel towards the Lake Hydra. Now you do have these crystal golems around the side, so it's up to you whether you want to take the time to fight them slowly or if you want to just dash around the Hydra. Uh, both ways are equally dangerous, really, so it's up to you. Let's see how much damage my Drake Sword does. Decent. You can use the Hydra to actually take out some of these golems. His water will attack them too. Like so. With all the crystal golems down, it's just you and the Hydra. Be careful here, you're going to need to time this really well. Wait until it's clear and then run hugging the left wall. Your speed will obviously be impaired when you get into the water. If you have the rusted iron ring, this will negate this. If you keep running and stick to the left, you should see a crop of land here with a ladder by the waterfall. Proceed to climb up the ladder. Hydra shouldn't be able to hurt you from there as long as you keep climbing. It's a big ladder. <laughs> okay, once we get to the top, we're going to proceed across this bridge. We're essentially going the long way round behind that locked door, saving us 20,000 souls. Now, obviously, nothing free is ever easy. So although we are saving souls, it does take a little bit of time to get round here and a good little bit of pedal. Because when we get up to the top of this ladder, we're going to want to be very, very aware of the next enemies coming up. So there are two ways you can go. You can go forward across the stone bridge or you can go across here towards the sort of darker part of the forest. What we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna want to go across the stone bridge. Be very aware, maybe have a shield out. The next bit's kind of scary. Okay, see these cats? I recommend hugging the left. <gasps> oh. You can use the trees to slow them down because a lot of the time they're too big and we'll get stuck. Once you get to these trees, rejoice because the cats no longer bother you. Please don't kill the mushrooms. They're cute and they did nothing wrong. So once we get to these trees, if we then stick to the cliff and follow it along the edge, you will find that you are in fact approaching the Great Grey Wolf Sif's arena. Just across this bridge here and through that big door, you'll be able to fight Sif. You can open the door no problems, but the boss fight will trigger when you approach Artorius' grave with his great sword sticking out of it. And there you have it, a free, although lengthy and perilous way to get to Great Grey Wolf Sif that doesn't involve you purchasing the Crest of Artorius or fighting any of the forest protectors in the grove area behind the door. Whichever way you choose to go about fighting Sif, I wish you good luck with him. If you'd like some help with the boss fight, you can check out my video here where I'll help you learn how to defeat her, although it pains me to do so. Thank you very much for watching. Remember you can subscribe for more tips videos like this as well as full walkthroughs on all Souls games. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.